2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10, and it reads, Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, with people here, forbear the kingdom. Streets paved in gold, freedom, rest from our oppressors. Never been afflicted ever again. I mean, the whole shebang. Look, look, no more taxes. No more nothing. No, no, just look, man. A place dwelleth with righteousness. Never having to worry about the oppressor anymore. Never having to. You just think about it, Israel. The Lord is creating a place where the wicked would never bother us ever again. That's the message. That's the message. And look, and look, the scripture says for Israel. He will appoint a place for his people, Israel, not the whole world. Get that out of your head. All nations will not be ruling alongside of us in the kingdom of heaven. What is wrong with you Israelites? He will give Israel a land of their own. Where the wickedness will never afflict them again. You're supposed to be rejoicing right about now. You hear a scripture right there? You're supposed to be crying out. How long, oh Lord? Emerald stones. You, you just name it. Precious stones, precious metals. Gold streets, pearls, rubies. A, a new body that will never break down ever again. Remember, eyes have not seen. This is just some quick about the head about to go to work. Never working for these heathens for pennies ever again. Never being removed from your home. Never having your babies taken away from you by, by child custody and all this other nonsense. Never having wickedness being pushed on your babies while you at work, your babies are constantly being pushed, you know what I'm saying, or indoctrinated with wickedness. Never ever again. Let's get this again. The kingdom. First Samuel chapter 7. And it's early in the morning. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people. My people, not the whole world. And it, who, who is the Lord's people? Israel. It says it right here. Israel. And I will plant them. Remember, going right back to Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the Lord's going to put them in that land. And we're going to get that Lord willing. And I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own. Because right about now, we have no continuous city. Remember Hebrews, the 13th chapter, we'll get that too. Lord's will. The Lord said he's going to give us a place of our own because we ain't got nowhere to go right about now. You got rats in our land. And we have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and we're being treated like shit on a daily basis by these heathen nations. But you got the majority of our people, they want to stay there and be, be treated like the lowest of the lows, man. No, the Lord said, look, I'm going to give them a place that they may dwell in a place of their own. Because remember, Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest, Babylon. This is America is not our rest. They can come and kick you out of your house at any time. You can lose your job on your day off. They can come take your kids. They can lock you up. They can trumped up charges and lock you up for all eternity until you die. This is going to be a thing of the past, a new heaven and a new earth. Remember, righteous rulers, right? And move no more. We will never be removed out of our land ever again. It ain't going to be no such thing as a 70 AD again. Us being removed out of our homeland, fleeing in all different directions, trying to get the hell out of Dodge and stop from being deleted. Neither shall the children of wickedness. Who's the children of wickedness? Sleazy Esau, Edom, man. Starting up with their elites. 
The Rothschild, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, the Sugar Groovers, the Bushes, the Clintons, so forth and so on, man. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore. The kingdom, man. This is what the Lord is promising the children of Israel. Look, it said it at the top of the scripture. This is for the children of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How bad do you want it, Israel? How bad do you want it, Israel? Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before. They're not going to have their way with us anymore. All right? They're not going to have their way. Look, look, I can stop the lesson right there, man. I can stop the lesson right there. We will never be afflicted ever again. The Lord is on his way. But 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 y'all don't hear the scriptures. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you Negroes, Latins, and Native you don't you don't hear the scriptures. Let's get this right quick. These lessons that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's it, man. Hebrews chapter 13. What is the verse? Let's see. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. Listen to this, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14, and it reads, For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come, which is the kingdom. Because this is not our rest. Remember, this is not our rest. This place of America is polluted. Sleazy is getting ready to make them saying everybody on the face of the earth take a sea hip, a karagma. A plantable device in order to buy, and in order to sell, in order to go from this place to that place. The, the, you can't have rest in a you can't get comfortable in a place like that. You can't say that's your rest when you're being ruled over by a wicked nation. What's what's wrong with you, Israelites? We have no place to go, but we seek one to come, which is the kingdom. When Lord Yahweh shall come and destroy this place, Babylon the Great, the good old United Snakes of America. And delivers the elect, Lord, when we part of that number and takes us home. We're ready to go home. Take me home. Because here we have no continuous city. Remember, Israel, you don't own a damn thing. N nothing at all. You don't own shit. We're constantly oppressed. We're constantly afflicted. Look, look, bills subject to payments. So damn right, we're seeking a kingdom to come. Because this, this show enough ain't it, man. Once again, you follow around a damn grocery store. Everywhere you, you, you're driving down the street. That's how you know you're getting pulled over for no reason. Uh, what, what's your name? Where you going? Hell, you read, my, you read my license tag. You know who I am. And I'm going to damn work. I'm minding my business. In that day, no one will afflict us ever again. We just read it, man. We just read it. You see, it's a it's a beautiful day coming, man, for the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. This is beautiful. Starting off with the elect. And it's gonna be, this ain't gonna be nothing long. Just something quick, cause like I said before, I'm about to head out, make this daily bread, Lord's will. If it's the Lord's will, but with one day closer, Israel. Remember, it's high time to wake out of sleep. I want to get that next. Baruch chapter four. Let's just get this. Something, something quick. Ain't nothing long. Baruch chapter four. Matter of fact, we started on um, 21, Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children, the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? And the, and the Israelite foreigners has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like these different nations, right? Cry unto the Lord. That's what we're doing. When we sleep, our spirit is crying out to the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. Remember Psalms 83? It goes to all the enemies of the Hebrew Israelites that came together with one consent to do away with our name, man. Eh? For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is come upon me unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting. Our Savior, mercy, mercy, everlasting, tender mercy, loving kindness is coming to the children of Israel. So enough with the elect, right? For I sent you out with mourning. And weeping. Remember 70 AD? When we got ran out of our, out of our homeland, Jerusalem? By the Romans? Remember that? 
but the most high will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. And we read that in second Samuel chapter seven, verse 10. Like as now the neighbors of Zion, these heathens have seen your captivity. They've seen us going to slavery and we're still slaves. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power. Which, because the Lord coming in them chariots, them spaceships, you see, with the heavenly hosts. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. You see, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. But shortly, in a hot second, but shortly, in a hot New York, what is it, a hot New York minute? But shortly thou shalt see, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and tread upon his neck. That's why it's time to seek the Lord. That's why this is the time to seek Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who the enemy called God and Jesus. This, this is the time, Israel. Let's get this Romans right quick. I got a couple more scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. Because I'm already pressed with time, but I had to do this right quick. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Romans chapter 13. It's coming, Israel. The Lord is preparing a land for the children of Israel. The Lord is preparing a land for us where the streets will be paved in gold. Our children will, will, play, will play with vicious animals and serpents and things of that nature. We would, no one would ever mess with us ever again. All right, Israel? We're never going to captivity ever again. Do you hear what the scriptures are saying? Romans chapter 13, verse 11, and the reason that, knowing the time, you don't, the majority of our people, they still don't know what time it is, but we do. The whole elect do. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep for salvation. For now is our salvation. Not everybody's salvation, but now is our salvation. The whole for elect, right? That word our is possessive. It's not talking about every nation. It says our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Now you got to ask yourself, who needs saving? Who needs delivering? Other than us. Name a nation on the face of the earth that needs saving and delivering deliverance like the children of Israel. You can't name one. And if you do name one, you a damn liar. We need saving, man. Look at the conditions that we're in. And look, this, this ain't talking about just America either. You got Hebrew Israelites in this condition, in this hellish condition all over the earth. It's not just here in America, man. No matter where the children of Israel is at, they're in these hellish conditions. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1, and it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Look, look, we can't read this enough. Jacob, man. Jacob, 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 Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And we yet choose Israel. That's us, a people before us, a place, all right? Not them rats, man, all right? Not them big-nosed people. They're not Israelites, right? And set them in their own land. Remember, and we'll never be afflicted again. Remember that, Israel? And the strangers, Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, right? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess you heathen nations, starting off with you um, you Edomites, right? Shlees E, right? Starting off with their elites. We go through this all the time through the spirit. The Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Eifenheimers, the Chicken Growers, the Bushes, the Clintons, they're going to be the first waves of slaves, Right? And the house of Israel shall possess them, shall own them in the land of the Lord Jerusalem for servants and handmaids, slave men, slave women. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Remember, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity and they shall rule over their oppressors. You ain't hearing this though, right? This is written right in the Bible. And they shall rule over their oppressors, right? And it shall come to pass. In that day, when the Lord established the kingdom of heaven on earth, in that day, and it shall come to pass in, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest. And that's what we're praying for. And that's what we're fighting for, right? From, from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And when the Lord delivers Jerusalem out of Babylon and destroys Babylon, a.k.a. America the Great, and takes over the planet earth, Everything is going to rejoice, all right? Everything is going to rejoice. And I got one more scripture because I'm gone. We're going to rule in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to rule over our oppressors, Israel. Hey, that ain't right. That ain't right. To who? Say, says who? who? Who's saying it ain't right? You? 
the, you, you better go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Matter of fact, let's go there. Let's just go there right quick. I'm a, I, 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 I'm a make, I'm a make time. I ain't got time, but I'm a make time. Let's get this. It ain't right. It ain't right. What y'all talking about? It ain't right. Y'all breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. Sin. It is a righteous thing with the Most High. So, so the hell with you Israelites, guy. You coons. The hell with you coons, man. You coons. The hell with you coons. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, sin, it is a righteous thing with the Most High. It's a righteous thing with who they eagerly call God and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly call Jesus to recompense me to pay back tribulation to them that trouble you. We're being troubled on every side, but you, you just want to continue to be troubled, right? Continue to let these heathen nations trouble us, right? And you don't want the God of the Bible to do nothing to these heathens that are kicking our asses left to right, right to left, man. We, look, we can't, we can't, this is what I'm saying. We can't put our kids in subjection. We can't tell them what to do. They got laws to prevent you from whooping your babies. They got laws from preventing you from telling your wife what to do. But you want to stay here? Are, are you serious? First, first um, Corinthians chapter 2. Let's just get this. I'm gone. First Corinthians chapter 2. The kingdom, man. That's all I'm thinking about is the kingdom. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Second Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 9. And it reads, but at, at, but as is, and I'm, I'm excited this morning. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart, meaning the mind of man, the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love Him. And that's talking about the Israelites. Streets paved in gold, a new body. All these different planets, all these different galaxies that the Hebrew Israelites are going to be traveling to. Come on, you you can't beat this. We went through rough waters, but shortly thou shalt see our salvation. They're gonna see salvation soon. Come, Lord willing, we of that number. I got one more. Second Peter chapter three. Let's just get this, and I'm gone. I'm gone. Let's see. Let's get this. Hey, look, all Israel being in order, man. The men righteous, our women righteous, our wives righteous, our babies righteous, new bodies. Just, a, just nothing but a bunch of superheroes just flying the hell around. Ruling the earth and ruling in different galaxies in righteousness. Establishing order. Establishing the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, man. Everywhere we go. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making, we're going to keep saying that. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, right? A new rulership and a new earth, a fresher, cleaner earth. Remember, Israel, no more toxins, no more pollutions, no more bombs being dropped in the ocean, deleting all these different um, sea, sea life. You see, no more trash in the ocean. These heathen going to clean up all this shit, man. You see? And that fire going to do the majority of it. But whatever's left them heathen is going to get to work, man. New heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Can you dig it? The kingdom. Shalom.